Highway Patrol reports traffic is moving briskly again. It's 7 o'clock. Here's a recap of today's top stories. On his second day in office, President Romero fulfilled a campaign promise today. He announced the formation of a commission on human rights violations. The commission will investigate acts of torture and murder that took place between 1975 and 1980 under the military junta. Rumors swept the Capitol about who will be named to chair the controversial and powerful committee. Attorney Gerardo Escobar, the civil rights activist, and on the short list for Minister of Justice, met with the president for an hour this afternoon. The Quite sure you won't come in? No thanks. Home in a hot bath. Yeah, me too. So I'm really sorry for all the trouble I put you to. No problem. Well, if I can't persuade you, why don't you drop in someday? Thanks again and goodbye. Ah! You know, it's crazy. I never introduced myself. Gerardo Escobar. Dr. Roberto Moran. It's very nice to meet you. Now, if you're ever passing... Escobar, the lawyer? Yeah, that's right. Who is it? It's Dr. Miranda. I've got your tire. Oh, Christ. What? It's okay, it's nothing. I'm coming! It's the guy who stopped to help me with the car. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Christ. Just a minute. I forgot to take it out. Of course, I'm so stupid. I drove all the way home, and I got into the shower before it hit me. Oh, I woke you. No, 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 I was just, uh... Is, is your power out, too? Yep. The whole peninsula for a change. This really is very kind of you. It's no problem. Yeah, I have to bring it back. I could have picked it up. How? How? Yeah, on your bike, you don't have a car. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't call, and you needed the tire. This time, I'm really sorry for what I've done to your weekend. You're gonna have to stop that. You're being nice, but it isn't necessary to keep apologizing. I, I'm all alone. My wife took the kids to her mother's. Uh, house is so empty, I probably wouldn't be able to sleep. Do you want to know the truth? Yeah. The real, real truth. <laughs> truth is, I'm a fan of yours. I was so stunned when you introduced yourself. I couldn't say anything. Then on the way home, I heard the news on the radio, and I'm thrilled to meet you. On the radio? What did you hear? about you and the commission. You're doing the most important work there is, and I couldn't resist the temptation to come back and tell you. What exactly did you hear on the radio? That you're going to chair the commission. The commission... That's not supposed to be announced. Oh. Well, I wouldn't worry. They said it was uh, rumors. Leaks, I guess. This is on the news? Uh-huh. I followed your career ever since you petitioned on behalf of the missing prisoners, and... Anyway, I just want to tell you what a thrill. <laughs> yeah, a real thrill, a mud bath and a sleepless night. No, 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 I'm serious. With you on the commission, there's a real chance for our country. Well, I hope we can do some good. I'm sure you will. So you see, I'm glad to be of use. I had an ulterior motive. <laughs> Sir. Listen. This time you have to have a drink. I can't send you out on a dark and stormy night without some kind of reward. Well, I shouldn't. It's late. Now, the president says the army is very, very unhappy. They're making a lot of veiled and not so veiled threats. God, how depressing. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe this idea of mine about their children learning the truth is just a fantasy. No, you've taken my point too far. If you really want to know, the president told me, and this is, this is between us. Well, I won't tell. Not even my wife. <laughs> well, especially not your wife. The president told me uh, that in actuality there are hundreds and hundreds of people ready to make statements. Now, once this begins, with a bit of luck, the whole thing could snowball and we could end up knowing everything. Jesus. You may be in danger. Danger of what? Well, you said so yourself. They're out there. They have a lot to hide and they have the guns.
you're such an asshole. I'm yelling, stop, that's my car to a thief. <laughs> He's glad it's my car, that's the whole point. I'm sorry. There's probably some kids out for a joyride. Well, this time I really do have something to apologize for. My wife took your car. my diploma when I was released. I didn't go back to school. You can guess why. <clears throat> Shouldn't require much imagination on your part. Look at me. Luckily, Gerardo was waiting. Well, I shouldn't say waiting exactly, but let's just say he still loved me so I didn't have to go back. <laughs> Do you know how long it's been since I listened to this quartet? If it's on the radio, I turn it off. Once I had to run out of a dinner party just to get away. It made me sick, physically sick to hear it. But it's time for me to reclaim my Schubert, my favorite composer. And to think I threw out my entire collection. Don't touch him. What is this? It's ridiculous because no revenge can satisfy me. That's what they're about, crude power and control. Look, I don't want to fuck him. I don't want him dead. I... I want him... to talk to me. I want him to confess. To confess? Yes. I want to... I want to get him on videotape, confessing to everything he did, not just to me, to all of us. And after he's confessed, you let him go? Yes. I don't believe you. You have to. You have no choice. If he repents, I will let him go. And you and your commission will be safe. With a taped confession, he won't dare send thugs or go to the police. He'll know the video will be all over TV the next day. And I'll let him live. As you say about our sad country, Gerardo, I will let the past become the past. We'll put this behind us and get on with our lives. Yes, we'll have to. We'll have to live with him. What if he refuses? Tell him if he refuses, then he's dead. Why? It's a precaution. It doesn't matter why. The point is they're going to be here by six. That means we've already got... Shit. You better hurry. Plane that's less than four hours. They may even get here sooner. We don't have time to get this confession. Fine. We'll kill him right away. What do I have to confess to? But I don't know what to say. Just imagine it. But I don't know what she expects. If I make it up and it's wrong, she may kill me anyway. I know, I know a few things. Maybe I can help you. Why don't you ask her... Ask her what? What she wants in the confession. I'll write down exactly what she wants, okay? No! No, she wants it to be genuine. How can it be genuine? I am innocent. I don't see why you need to hear everything from me to get him to confess. I want to be your lawyer, Paulie, not his. I need the facts. I don't want you to be my lawyer. I want you to be my husband. Well, I'm trying to be, but you're never satisfied. <laughs> poor Gerardo. Oh, poor Gerardo.
and tried to protect the prisoners from the worst tortures to prevent permanent damage and lessen the chance of death from shock and sudden heart failure. I made sure that if it, <clears throat> I made sure that a sufficient amount of food and water was given so there will be no further deaths from starvation. This isn't a confession, it's a fucking testimonial. Well, it sounds exactly like the confession of a torture. I mean, you really expect them to face the truth about themselves? Tell about me. About me. Wait. Okay. I've just... After three weeks, the daily 16-hour sessions began to rub off on me. I tended to be impressionable to be influenced by my surroundings and the people around me. I lost my sense of my own identity and my own moral code. You liked it. Tell the truth. Jesus. Give him a chance. All right, go on. Get to it. When I first... Wait. <clears throat> okay. When I first saw Paulina Logha, she was in very poor condition. She had had no food or water for three days. She was tied by ropes to a wooden table. She had been severely beaten on her back and thighs. She had burns on her breasts. She had also been subjected to electric shocks on her torso and genitals. I convinced them that she would die if the torture and starvation continued. I asked them to leave me alone with her so I could gain her trust. I had tried this successfully with a number of other prisoners. I tended to their physical pain. I tended to their physical pain. I played music to soothe their minds. Paulina Walker was a very beautiful woman. That's why you raped me? Because I was beautiful? <laughs> it's my fault, right? You left the ugly ones alone. You stop interrupting. You don't understand. I have obeyed women. Honored women all my life. You're not bullshit! You're gonna die, Doctor. I let your lawyer convince me to spare you if you made an honest confession, but you're playing games. You're slipping errors into this. You're deliberately making mistakes in order to look innocent. He gave me all the details. They came from you. I never told him I was tied with ropes. You're lying. This is worthless. You're right. It was wires. They tied you with wires. Are you sure? I'm sure. Wires. It was wires. What did you tell him, Gerardo? I didn't tell him anything. I know you prepared him. I knew you were going to, so I lied to you. What did you tell him? I was strong. I fought it so hard. No one fought as hard as I did. I was the last one. The last one to have a taste. No one died, I swear. I saved many. And I made it easier on them. That's how it started. That's how I got into it. They needed doctors. My brother was in the secret police, he told me. They needed someone to make sure nobody died. I watched you. You soiled yourself. You told me I'm dirty and I washed you clean. The others egged me on. Come on, doctor, you're not gonna refuse free meat, are you? I couldn't think straight. And inside, I could feel I was starting to like it. They lay the people out, flesh on the table, in the fluorescent light. You didn't know. It was bright in those rooms. People lying totally helpless. And I didn't have to be nice. I didn't have to seduce them. I realized I didn't even have to take care of them. I had all the power. I could break anyone. I could make them do or say whatever I wanted. I was lost. I got curious. Morbid curiosity. How much can this woman take? What's gonna happen to her vagina? Does it dry up when you shock her? Can she have an orgasm afterwards? <laughs> I like being naked. I would undress slowly. I would let my pants fall. 
so you could hear what I was doing. I liked you knowing what I was going to do. I was naked in the bright light, and you couldn't see me. You couldn't tell me what to do. I owned you. I owned all of them. I fell in love with it. I could hurt you, or I could fuck you. And you couldn't tell me not to. You had to thank me. I loved it. I was sorry it ended. I was very sorry it ended. I can't do it, Polly. I just can't. 